This is likely one of the first shrines you'll encounter on your journey, and the location is pretty simple. Chances are, if you're following the story, you'll understand how to get to it pretty quickly. The old man will guide you to it after you jump off the tower. Yes, it is the Omen Owl Shrine. If you have the DLC, then there will be an extra chest waiting here. It will always contain a rupee, so this will likely be the first shrine you ever encounter. And don't worry, it's fairly simple. Most shrines are meant to either be a tutorial or just puzzles. So I will be in in just a second. We're into the shrine, and you'll see very quickly it says Magnesis Trial. This is because this is just basically teaching you how to use Magnesis, which will be one of many... I guess not very many, but six, maybe seven rooms in the game. And really, you just come over here, put your Sheikah Slate in this pedestal, and you get Magnesis. Now, Magnesis is one of the most useful runes in the game, and to access the shortcut menu for all runes, you're going to just click the up arrow on the left Joy-Con, or if you have the Pro Controller, then it's the left arrow. So next, you'll notice that this one block out of many, and there's one over there actually, but this one happens to look oddly metallic, and you actually can use Magnesis on it. Be ready to fight here. It's a quite an easy fight. But it's a pretty easy fight if you actually get a hit. And it, it's pretty quick. He barely does any damage. And if you are just playing for the first time, you can watch what I do. But if you're just playing for the first time, all shrines replenish your health at the end. So don't really worry about healing if you're in the middle. But you're going to want to pick up this plate, move it to the other side so you can cross easily, and then there's one chest or more in each shrine, in each and every shrine in the game, and this one happens to be right here. You use Magnesis. All the puzzles of this shrine are based on Magnesis, and if you're having trouble, then you can just come back to this series. But pick it up, and I very highly recommend actually picking up this chest because having a traveler's bow this early in the game is really good. So next, you just open these large metal doors. Uh, you'll learn how to push and pull. All the, the movement options are at the bottom when you have it activated. And this is the end of the shrine. This is what the end of the shrine for all of them will look like. And a cutscene will begin. You can skip this, I will. Um, normally I don't necessarily recommend skipping it if this is your first one, but I have played the game far too many times. So after you exit the shrine, the old man will come back with his parachute, and if you're playing on your own, you will see, but he essentially, what he says from this is that he can tell that we've completed the shrine because the whole thing is blue. He begins to talk about the Sheikah, basically introduces the idea that there's even more shrines and that there's three more on this plateau and he wants you to go to all three of them and he does want you to go to the top of the tower which is actually a lot easier than you might expect so every shrine that you've even visited to and activated with your Sheikah Slate you can travel to, you can fast travel to and this is really useful for all shrines and towers. So let me just show you this really fast. And this is where the shrine is located. I would assume that you could figure this out, but most shrines, especially later in the game, are very difficult to find. So let's just fast travel to the tower real fast. So yeah, the first shrine of the game is, well, it's actually quite simple. Shrines do get slightly more complicated, but a lot of shrines you'll find are actually harder to get to than they are to actually complete. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I know I haven't really uploaded in a while, but I mean, yeah. Anyway, I'm uploading now, so yeah, I hope that sort of is helpful, I guess. And uh, I want to start this and make... I want to start this and make it a real series. I want to actually start adding more videos. So you can come back here, hopefully once it's grown, if you need to find any more shrines. Good luck on your journey, and goodbye.